Hey guys, it's Steve with All Electric Family. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a ride to go see how long it takes to charge the Ford Lightning extended range battery pack from 10% to 80%. Now, the reason that I wanna do this 10 to 80% is because this is going to be your typical amount of charge that you're going to need when you're on road trips. As most of you guys know at this point, we like to tow our Airstream uh, to faraway places and also to go on road trips. So this will be an important test to know how long it's typically going to take to charge at a DC fast charging station. So let's get going. As most of you guys probably know about the Ford Lightning, it does have a little bit slower charge uh, charging curve. And so with that being said, it will probably take uh, a little bit longer. Some of the reasons that it has this is just what Ford has done uh, with the charging curve and then also what Fo Ford has done with the battery pack. The battery pack has a low pack voltage and so even if you give it 500 amps it will not be able to charge at a super high rate. So it'll already be at a disadvantage to some of these other vehicles uh, that are out on the market uh, because of those two things. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna plug into the 350 kilowatt uh, charger. The reasoning for that is make sure that we can maximize the amps to this so we can get a true test of how quickly it can do it. And yeah, I'll set a timer on my phone. Also, Electrify America will notify you through your charging session how many kilowatt hours it has delivered and how long that has taken. So we'll break that down, compare that to each other, and then go from there. All right, so that was real weird. So it showed 10% when I pulled up to the charger and then it jumped up to 16% when I plugged it in. So anyways, I'm gonna go burn that percentage off, I guess, uh, back down to 10%. I just had never seen the BMS on this thing be so flaky like that. So, interesting. I will uh, get back with you when it's at 10%. All right, so we're back here. It does say 10%, I will show you that and then we'll get it started and make sure it's still at 10 percent on the electrify america screen and yeah i've never seen that bms uh show that much of a difference in percentage i'm not sure if it's because i was driving in town or what but we're at 10 percent now all right here are the contactors going again Let's make sure that it actually says 10%. Might have jumped up to 11 already if it's getting some amount of charge, but as long as it's right there. Yep, 10%, there we go. You see it ramping up. So we'll go make sure it says the same thing in the truck at 10%. Then I'll come out here and watch the kilowatts and see how high it goes. All right, we're already at 11%. 11% there. I got timer going on my phone. Also, there is a timer with Electrify America. And I believe the Ford Pass app has that too. I'll let you guys know. We're set at 80%, so it should kick off there. I'll check in at various times. Looks like it's at 155 kilowatts. That's because we have low pack voltage and that's all it's gonna be able to accept. It should at some point jump up to 160, 170 kilowatts at its max and then uh, taper off from there. So we hit 25%. It's been a little over eight minutes of charging. Oh, it just jumped up 26%. So yeah, it went 15% in roughly eight minutes. So we'll see how that compares and the rest of the charge. We are up to, oh, we're down. <laughs> The 122 kilowatts, so. So yeah, we're already down to 122 kilowatts. We have received 21 kilowatt hours of energy. We'll see if that goes up or what it does. Ford 
says in their screen that we started at 220, which I'll compare that to the Electrify America app, and says that we will end at 305. So it's held that 305 close to the entire time. So we'll see at the end if that's actually when it says it's done. So it says we have 30 more minutes. So we hit 45%, which is halfway point to 80%. We did 30, 35% charge. We're at 45 kilowatts hours delivered. Just jumped up to 46, but still wafer in there. We are a little over 20 minutes in on the charge. So that's kind of right on pace to be 45 minutes worth of charge. Here's like the truck just upped it from 3.05 p.m. to 3.07. So it's obviously going to take a little bit longer than 45 minutes according to uh, the infotainment center, but we'll see. So we're coming up on three quarters of the way done. Don't tell Katie, even though she'll edit this video. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're three quarters of the way done. It has been 33 minutes. Uh, so... Yeah, if that's any indication, it'll be over 50 minutes that it will take to do 10 to 80%, which is 70% of the battery. It has come down to going back and forth from 90 kilowatts to 120 kilowatts. It's doing that thing where it goes back and forth and not sure why it does that, but if you guys know what it is, let me know. Well, we're at 47 minutes here. We're at 79%. So it looks like it's going to take roughly about 50 uh, minutes. But I'm going to show you what it's charging at right before it shuts off here. So it's still going back and forth from that 100 all the way up to roughly 120. And so it should shut off here pretty soon. So it holds a pretty good charging speed up till 80%. Should be shutting off here. Looks like it's kicking down as you can see there. Well, right at 80% dropped to 60 kilowatts. car should be shutting off because it's only set to 80 percent let it run its course here yep there we go so it took 47 minutes it uh delivered 93.7 kilowatt hours and 11.29 but <clears throat> that's before tax so we'll show you how much it is this back in. All right, so it costs $12.21. As you can see with my membership, I saved $4.06. So, all right. Well, it was pretty accurate on the time that it was gonna end. It ended at 3.08, it looks like. So once it, it said in the, initially it was like 3.46 and then it ended it, then it went up to 3.05 once the charging speed got higher. And then it kind of settled in um, at that 307. So it's pretty accurate what it actually took to get to that 80%. Once it hit that 80%, dropped down to 60 kilowatts. I'm not sure if that was just the car shutting off or if it actually does that. I've never really sat there and watched it run like that. It was interesting how it got to 25%. Um, and it was running about 166 kilowatts. And then it dropped down to 120 stayed there for three four percent and then it started going doing its thing where it was back and forth from uh all the way down to 90 percent to 120 percent but it was real fast and that's on the electrify america screen the four does not show you any of the charge rate or anything like that 
Well, there you have it, guys. It took 47 minutes to get 70% uh, from 10% to 80%. So if you think that that is a good amount of time, if you think that's too slow, too fast, we'll see. I'm going to do another test on the Rivian, see how that does. Also, tell me if you want me to actually charge it on a 150 kilowatt uh, charger. This one says that it delivers 500 amps. I'm not sure I believe that, but it should be roughly the same if that's the case. But if you want me to compare our 350 kilowatt charger to the 150, let me know down below. I'll do that comparison next time the truck gets down to 10%. But I hope you like this video. If you want to follow along on our adventures, make sure and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do a lot of towing and road tripping tests. Thanks, guys.